Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Legendary Iron Man Exquisite Timing, the second attempt. My name is Saiken, today we're going to continue our great run, second attempt, and we're almost at the finish line, so we can't afford to now lose any of the missions here in North America because we don't want to lose the research bonus, hence we are going into the easiest mission, I want to minimize the chances of taking any casualties, any damage, you name it. So since it's an enemy unknown and since this here is controlled by the Night Witch, we're probably going to fight against uh, the Night Witch herself, as well as a lot of Advent. In order to do that, I am wondering, because I've actually never really used that, whether we can use our Battle Scanner to scan her uh, to find herself. That would be awesome, that way we wouldn't need to deal with her attack in the first place. So, a little bit of testing here. We're going in with Bones um, Noxus in place of Hayward. We got Hogbite, Zirkim, Renvin is back in action, and we got Sonar, Maximilian Richter. Uh, let's jump directly into uh, the action. I think overall it's gonna uh, go well so far. We need this mission here to succeed, then it's only focusing on research, getting all of the strategy layer in place, and then, guys, it uh, is time to do the final mission. Let's, let's go. Good, we just landed in Tijuana um, for us to, get the the uh, to stop the data transfer. Pretty open space here. Interestingly enough, we got like an L-shaped lower ground here. The actual target is straightforward, uh, so no need to deal with the ledge or anything close to the ledge. Reaper moves up. And Reaper moves even further. Hochbeil takes a pretty solid move uh, forward. And the rest of the team hmm, this one here is unfortunately blocking line of sight quite a bit so it's unusual but I'm moving the sniper to the front line uh, because the front line will shift very soon and pretty soon he's going to just stay where he is at There's a very small chance that there is something down here. Not very likely, to be honest. We only got nine enemies. We got plenty of remote sortable objects here. Yep. Target rich environment. Told you. I go where you tell me. There's an alien patrol nearby. Interesting. Let's continue to move as far as we can. I'm checking what the rewards for the hack would look like. You should always do that just so you're confident. Yeah, both of them are not very good and the bo uh, boost for the enemies is um, too much of a downside, let alone his hacking skill is not high enough. Gain control of an enemy unit, yep, in theory great, um, practical terms not that relevant for us right now. Renvin could move up even a bit further. I like the full cover over here. Zirkim stays where he is. Sonar is moving up. And everyone's still very much in concealment. Well, we could get rid of that pack 
with a nice little claymore. Alright, so now that we do have two claymores, Soon our prey will fall. it's not really an either or. You can use it to pull and at later stages just use the other uh, th just use the other uh, claymore, you have my trust. freeing up that position. Okay. Renwin moves into that position so that we're actually in range. And this here is exploding them, dealing enough damage, plus they are taking fall damage. So every uh, single one of them should immediately die. There we go. Case closed. Pretty much. Is it clear? That's one hit. I don't really like staying in the open. Let's see if we can find a different uh, way of dealing with that. Lightning hands. Yep, that's good enough. Okay, so that took uh, care of the timer. Got six more enemies to go. Overwatch, Overwatch, and let's see what we're dealing with. Naturally, the other packs will now gravitate towards this location. If for nothing else, uh, then the simple fact I am trusting you. that they've heard the explosions. Blocking the ladder so that they can't get up here. Which was exactly the right thing to do. We will overcome. Perfect time for a teamwork, by the way. And even better time for that nice little remote this start here. All right, so first things first, um, moving up. That takes a little bit of damage. I like that. Get trigger, even better. Viper's almost down. Not good. We don't need an aid protocol, so let's reload. The position here is solid. Very good. Yeah, very unlikely that we're taking a 45% shot. Not gonna happen. We'll just take the 100% security that that guy is going to die. Well, 
Unfortunately, his melee resistance, aka um, counter attack, has made it unlikely that we're going to go for him. Good. Parrying. Overwatch done. Second pick dealt with. One more to go. We're making quick work of them. I suspect them to be down here, but I might be wrong. Moving as ordered. All right. Taking new cover. Here and here, now. and full we'll cover I'll here. Okay. And we're looking at Overwatch, Overwatch, Longwatch, Overwatch, and Overwatch. Almost certain now that they are downstairs. It's atypical to find them sort of back here. It's possible, but it's just not. Very likely. Let's double check that I'm not missing anything. Hmm. The map is larger than I would have anticipated. Good. We're taking that middle ground here. Kind of as our new base of operations. Mainly because it has high ground. Moving to position. On it. No Moving to Overwatch. Theoretically, they could be coming from here, but we haven't heard anything yet. All right, Zirkim. Definitely need the high ground. I hope it's worth it. Good. Well, let's continue to scout. I will go. Wow, that happens when you have a huge map and only nine enemies on it. Not even a sound clue of where they could be. I will reposition. Hmm. Well, like I said, it's unlikely that they're going to be close. As you order, Commander. I'm still somewhat hoping to find them near a remote startable object. But the longer I think about it, the less likely that option appears. On the move. Already there. Stepping off. I'm trusting you here. Good, everyone goes on Overwatch again. Let's take a look. I'm almost sure that they need to be downstairs. What would yeah. appear to be a single entity is actually a swarm of tiny robotic units working in close coordination. 
to maintain a cohesive form. Let's just I'm go here. You. I don't think that they're moving. Yeah. A deadly trap. There we go. Well, let's start up the encounter. Do we have ammunition available? Okay, well, we're too far away. And the Spectre okay. usually tends to have uh, lightning reflexes. But lightning reflexes can or should only trigger once. Which means everyone else should be able to hit it. Five people overwatch, it's vanishing, and it's probably going to reappear somewhere. You know what the perfect option for a vanish is? Except. Battle scanners for the win. Might not look great on paper, but believe me, they are actually quite good. Well, so much for the Spectre. That was an easy mission, but we've chosen it to be easy, so everything worked out well. Good. Perfect. We didn't get any promotions, but that is okay, I suppose. It was a short mission, so not even anyone being tired, and we got a Spectre. Plus, it seemed to be the first time um, that we got mutants. Also, Lightning Reflex is pretty nasty, so we did well countering that. Got a thousand, uh, a thousand supplies. Yeah, I get it. We have Fear of the Chosen, so what? It happens. Good. What do we? What do, do we need to do? Okay. Uh, let's expand the queue real quick. Sonic Gate. Five more days. Researched. That'll be end of June. Then we're going for. Immediately going for. The Avatar. Which I think was eleven days uh, by now. Okay, cool. Don't need any more intel, we're good. Slowly, my knowledge of your movement grows. And with each passing... We're healing faster, that's the main idea now. She's getting more info about us, fair enough. And Edwin now gets returned fire, but that's only the officers and the priests. 
also fair enough. Two more days. Come on. Oh, I don't. I don't want to be shut down by the UFO. Uh, let's maybe do something else instead. Don't want to build faster. Avenger plotting new course. Yeah, we're not going for intel. I'll take a quick uh, peek at the black market real quick. The mech breakdown wouldn't be bad either, but we probably wouldn't get the blue uh, screen rounds. We got a bit of intel to spare. I was almost hoping we could get um, another scientist, really. I would keep something let me do some calculation in the background. I want to know if our Alois and Delirium are enough for the armor that we want. All right, back. So the core idea um, of the spider suit and the exosuit is probably off the table because it requires additional research projects and we just don't have the time for that. Um, I still want to keep some intel Superior speed, on the other hand, is pretty damn good. Another scientist, though, wouldn't also wouldn't be bad. So, when is the month ending in six days? Yeah, it's not worth to have a scientist for only a few days, so that's just not adding enough value. But the superior speed certainly. Uh, will help us. I like it. Good PCS. So that's fine. Back to the original question. Yep, the UFO is still there. So we're just going to gain some intel. Like I said, I don't want to be uh, shot down. Okay. We can fly down again. It's now June 30, so technically speaking, the research should be done. I don't know why they are not researching when I'm flying. It stinks. We are now prepared to autopsy the body of the powerful being we recovered from it. This creature. Good. We got 11 days to go. So that's July 12th, and then we're probably not having enough time for the armor upgrades. We're going to see how that is going to work. For now, it is what it is. Let's continue to heal. Yeah, we don't need any further training. We're done with that. The elders don't spend a lot of time worrying about the difference between soldiers and civilians. It's all the same in the end. These chosen are constantly hunting us to try and recapture you. Fair enough. The game tells us to run covert actions. And we finally got uh, some proving ground options. So we have the option for um, some experimental ammunition. 
Unfortunately, not the grenades. We don't need a frost bomb. Let's see what the ammunition is about. AP rounds are fantastic. Tracer rounds aren't bad either. Dragon rounds aren't bad. And one last. Venom rounds. Yeah, I guess uh, that's fine. So we'll keep that in mind. They're actually pretty, uh, pretty good. Uh, those options. Can we do something else that uh, would add value for us? The frost bomb, yeah, maybe. Don't really need a heavy weapon because we can't carry it at the moment. It's unfortunately that the research took a tiny bit longer. As you can see, it's always overdrawing. It's never really on time. It's almost like that one day longer uh, every single time. So things are adding up. I don't know where people are getting but maybe I can still squeeze in uh, the plated armor. I do have an idea. Commander, that UFO contact has us locked <sighs> in. We have to take evasive maneuvers. Yeah. As if that would work. Hey guys, it's time to defend the adventure once again. Yeah, he's already landing there. Like, yep, go for it, get us, and you will see they will come from one edge and just run us down. What a surprise. We got shot down. All right, we're going to do that in the next uh, mission, guys. This is the end of um, today's mission. And of course, the run wouldn't be over just because Saiken thinks it is uh, that way. Um, we are very much forced to do that now. So if you enjoy the dramatic ending of this, please uh, leave a like and a comment down below and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.